This problem doesn't have any numbers in it, but we are going to use our bar to show which one is which. Let's which read one? it. It says, Bailey had blank Skittles and uh -huh. some M&Ms. She had more M&Ms than Skittles. How many M&Ms does she have? Hmm. Which bar is going to represent the M&Ms? Hold it up. Hold up. Which bar you think is the M&Ms? All right, I'm seeing a lot of you holding up the red bar. Why? Raise your hand and tell me, why are you holding up the red bar? Archer, why? Because the red bar is bigger than the yellow bar. And she has more M&Ms than Skittles. The red bar is going to be... Awesome. Can someone retell me what Archer just said? Because it was amazing. Emma? He said, during my, the red bar is for the M&M's is because the red bar is bigger than the M&M's and there's more M&M's. Yeah, so this word right here, more. We have more M&M's. That means we have the bigger bar. If we have more, we have more stuff. It's the bigger bar. Which bar is the Skittles? Hold up the Skittle bar. Skittle, Skittle, Skittle. I Skittles. Alright, I see a lot of you holding up the yellow bar. How do you know that the yellow bar is the Skittles? How did you know that? Alright, how did you know that the yellow bar was Skittle bar? Because it's less than the red bar, and the story said that we have less, more than Skittles. Okay, so Art knew that even though it didn't say she had less Skittles, he knew that if we had more M&Ms, we have a smaller amount of Skittles. There's a spot on these bars where they have exactly the same. Do you think you can find where the bars have exactly the same amount? Show me, put your hands over top of where you think they have exactly the same amount. So I saw a couple of things happening. I saw a lot of you, let me switch to my um, pointer. I saw a lot of you lining up your bars, and then you said, okay, right where they line up, from this point to this point, you've got both arms on there like this. I marked it with my whiteboard. I don't want you to do that, but thank you. That whole space is the same. They have the same amount. I love that I'm seeing Marley put her hands on both. Yep, all that space in between. I see hands on bars. Perfect, Penelope, on your bars. So that's not showing me that where they're the same. I want to see where they're the same. Perfect, Sally. Perfect, Colby. That space in between is where they have exactly the same amount. Now peek over your hands. Do you see how that red bar keeps going? Yeah. Why does the red bar keep going? Because we just said, okay, they're exactly the same here, but that red bar kept going. Why? Sally, why did that red bar keep going? Um, because there's more M&M's than Skittles. There's more M&M's than Skittles. So we are going to draw a line. Line those up as quick as quickly, as evenly as you can. And we're going to draw a line on that red bar where it's exactly even with the yellow bar. You can do it with your extra marker. That's fine. I already did this that. This line. I already did that. This line is called the line of equality. It's called that because everything in here, don't write this on your board or your pieces, everything in there is equal. So if I'm counting M&Ms, my M&Ms from all the way through here is actually the same amount of Skittles. I don't get more M&Ms until I'm over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So far, so good? Yeah, yeah just the line. Just the line. No? Just one line. So far, so good? Do you understand that? All right, show me with your hands the line of equality. I already made it. You should have two hands going because the line of equality talks about all the parts that they're equal. Julian, perfect. So am I a perfect? Of equality. Now, would it be the line of equality? Pause and look at my board. Would it be the line of equality if I did this? No. 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 Oh. This? No. No. It wouldn't be if I did this and this? No. No? Yes. 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 So, Rogan. This won't work because this space is the equal amount of space as this space, but it's hard for me to look at that. That's really confusing for my brain. So I'm going to move it back to our typical line of equality. Not enough there. All right, flip your bars over. Can we have empty bars again? Um, we're, it's fine. We're going to look at a slightly different problem. Listen up to my story because it's changed just a little bit. Say we had blank Skittles and some M&Ms. She had blank fewer M&Ms than Skittles. How many M&Ms does she have? <gasps> We've got a slightly different word in there. What new word do I have in that problem? Oops. Come on. If you're not sure. You can read it again in your head. The broken plan with your marker is probably not going to help you, friend. Ava, what new word are we looking at? Some. Mm, some was in our last one. Oh, you What is it? You were. You were. What does that word you were mean? It means kind of like less in a different word. It means less. I'm going to read this one more time. Can I please see if you can figure out which one is the M&M &M bar? Bailey had blank Skittles and some M&Ms. She had blank fewer M&Ms than Skittles. How many M&Ms does she have? Which one is the M&M bar? Which one is the M&M bar? Connor, are you having some trouble? We're holding up the M and M bar. How do you know the yellow bar is the M and M bar? I'm gonna put my bars back up here. How do we know that the M and M bar was the yellow one? Marley, how did you know that the M and M bar was the Beautiful, Marley. She said, in our story, it said that our M&Ms were fewer, and Eva already told us that fewer meant that less. there was less. Mm. Which bar is the Skittle bar? Hold it up. Which bar is the Skittle bar? How do you know? How do you know that the Skittle bar? How do you know that? Samaya, how do you know the Skittle bar is the red bar? Uh-huh. So how do we know that the Skittle bar was the red one? If she said fewer M&Ms, she would have more Skittles. Show me with your hands the line of equality. Where are there exactly the same number of M&Ms as Skittles? I'm going to get you some bars. Give me some seconds, okay? It says Bailey had eight Skittles 
and some M&Ms. She had 10 more M&Ms than Skittles. How many M&Ms does she have? First, we need to decide which bar is the M&M bar, which bar is the Skittle bar. Hold up your M&M bar. One, two, three. All right, I see a lot of red bars. Raise your hand and tell me why you picked a red bar. Why did we pick that red bar? Addison? All right. Beautiful. Did everyone hear Addison? Because it was amazing. Yes. Addison, say it one more time because I know some friends were talking and I want them to make sure they hear what you're saying. Why did we choose the red bar? Beautiful. Colby, you heard that? Because your body's not telling me you're listening to what Addison's saying. Addison knows that we're going to use the red bar for M&Ms because there's more M&Ms. There's more M&Ms. Hmm. Which one's the Skittle bar? I see a lot of yellow bars. Yeah, that Skittle bar is our yellow bar. Go ahead and line them up again. If you haven't drawn your line of equality, flip it over so you got that line of equality there. All right, now this is going to be a tricky one. Do we know how many Skittles there are? Yeah. 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 yeah, that very first eight. sentence says there's eight Skittles. Put eight. your finger on the Skittle eight. bar. Skittles. Put your finger on the Skittle bar. That's that yellow one. With your marker inside the Skittle bar, we're going to write eight. We're going to write eight. It tells us there's eight Skittles. We just wrote it on there. That Skittle bar has eight. Hmm. Now let's look at that second sentence. It's 28. It says she has 10 more M&Ms. Does that mean she has 10 M&Ms? No. 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 She has 10 more. Where? Oh, I forgot to draw my line of equality. Sorry. Where is that 10 more going to go? Point to it on your bar. We're wasting my time. Point to it on your bar. Where is it going to go? Point to it. I need to see fingers. So, I already know that eight Skittles is here. Would it make sense for me to write 10 here? No. Uh -uh. no, because we already talked about how this section and this section were equal. So 10 is not going to go here. Where are those 10 more going to go? Emma, I see you pointing to this space right here. Why are you pointing to this space? over here. Why do you think she chose this space to be the 10 more? Avery, what do you think? Because it's, so if this is 8 and it's even with the lower number, uh -huh. that means it would have to be 8. Pause. Let's listen real quick to what Avery just said. Say that, what you just said right here before we get to what Emma was thinking. Since it, since it, is, since it is even with the other bar, we see that? Or equal? The same digit or number. Value. As, the same value as the other. Avery said, hey, since we're the same size, mm -hmm. if this is 8, this also has to be 8. In the line of equality, they're equal. They're the same amount right there. Yeah. So make sure you're writing 8 in the same 
space where eight is for cubes. So those eight should be stacked almost right on top of each other. Perfect, Marley. Perfect, Lydia. Do we see how those two sections are exactly equal? And then remember, we peeked around and we saw where the more was. All right, Avery. So why was Emma pointing to this spot for our more? Oh, yes, I'm ready for the rest of your thoughts now. Because if the rest of it is, if there's eight and it says that there's ten more, Love then it. that has to be where the ten is. Because where else are we going to put the ten? Where else are we going to put the ten? Put your fingers on the line of equality. Put your fingers on the line of equality. Good, Colby. Put your fingers on the line of equality. Remember, it's not just that line, it's that whole space. We need two hands. Two hands. Here's our line of equality. We know both of those are eight. They're equal. But then Emma said, hey, you know what? We're going to get more. And that more is over here. That's that little extra. How many more? How many more? Jordan? She got ten more. Hmm. Let me draw it ten over here. Well, where does ten go? Is that the more space? I can write it in the more space. Let's go back to that question. How many M and M's does she have? We've got a full M and M bar. How many M&Ms does she have? Brogan? 18. She has 18. All Brogan did was what? What did you do, Brogan? I added the two. But added the two what? What? Why did you add the 8 and 10 together? Why didn't you add maybe the 8 and the 8 together? Because yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Rosen said, I'm not adding this one because these are what? Skittles. Skittles. Are Skittles different than M&M's? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because we're M &M's only adding our M&M's together. Does that make sense? Yeah. So far, so good? Yeah. All right.